Since the late 1970s, humanity has been operating in an ecological overshoot. In other words, the global annual demand on resources exceeds what the Earth can regenerate in a year. The actual available biologically productive area on Earth is 2.118 hectares per person. In the UK, for example, the current ecological footprint of each person is 6.29 hectares. One organisation that is working towards reducing this ecological footprint is Bioregional, with the One Planet Communities Programme. It is a network of green neighbourhoods, where it is hoped people live a healthier, high-quality lifestyle without overshooting their fair share of the planet's resources. This is the Beddington Zero Energy Development, or BEDZ, the UK's best-known eco-village, located in South London. It is made up of 100 homes, community facilities and enough workspace for 100 people. Since BEDZ was completed in 2002, Bioregional have led on monitoring it and from that we've developed 10 One Planet principles which we use now working with developers around the world to create sustainable communities. And those principles vary from zero carbon, running all our buildings on renewable energy through to zero waste, where we ultimately aim to send no more than 2% say of uh, waste to landfill. And we also look at some of the social aspects, so promoting health and happiness and promoting the local economy. Just an hour's drive from Bedzed is the One Brighton development. Construction began in 2008 and the first residents started moving in a year later. The interesting thing about this development is that it's been built within a conventional budget. New green technologies are emerging all the time, their costs are coming down and we're learning how to do this cost effectively. To reduce the environmental impact here, the concrete frame for example is made mainly out of recycled materials. Low temperature fired clay block has been used which saves energy. The development has an on-site biomass boiler and PV panels providing around 50% of the energy requirements of the buildings with the rest bulk purchase for residents as guaranteed green electricity. As well as using green energy, the development is situated very close to Brighton train station and the city centre, meaning residents have little need for their own vehicles. While there are several environmental benefits to the design of the One Brighton development, One Planet communities also stress that green buildings alone are not enough to get us to the One Planet consumption target. They believe that lifestyles and behaviours of people living inside the buildings must also change. Climate change is at the top of the agenda for everybody at the moment. Everyone's trying to change the way they live slightly to reduce their impact. And it's really great to be able to live in a flat which automatically helps your carbon footprint by having great recycling, um, great heating with the biomass boiler, triple glazing, that sort of thing. It makes living a greener lifestyle really easy. To promote a greener lifestyle, the development includes rooftop allotments for growing vegetables, communal sky gardens, organic vegetable box delivery points and a green caretaker. There's a traditional caretaking role to the job, but uh, One Brighton was developed to be as sustainable as possible, so there's also a green aspect to it. Uh, we have a composter on site. Residents are issued with uh, biodegradable bags that they can put any food in and they simply pop that in the waste chutes we have here and uh, I feed the composter. Eventually we'll be able to use that compost on site uh, for places like the, the mini allotments we have on the roof. So there's a closed circle of, uh, of waste here. Building on the success of One Brighton, there are more developments underway worldwide, including the Sonoma Mountain Village in Northern California, USA. This project is North America's first One Planet endorsed development, a $1 billion redevelopment of an 81 hectare ex-industrial site 40 miles north of San Francisco. The eco-town will house 5,000 people in 1,900 homes, while providing 4,400 jobs in 50,000 square metres of office, retail and commercial space. The potential for all residents to be employed on site implements One Planet's five-minute living ideology. Snow Mountain Village is designed so that every home is about a five-minute walk from everything you need, the grocery stores and farmers markets and jobs and parks, schools, and it's that um, kind of neighborhood that makes it possible to drive a lot less and live a low-carbon lifestyle and 
that gives us more time to do the things we want to do and it's really that lifestyle that we call five minute living and really planning for that is one of the most important things we can do to make a green life easy. The site is also home to the second largest privately owned solar array in Northern California that will power 1,000 homes. This is just one initiative that will feasibly allow Sonoma to achieve its ambitious sustainability targets. As an endorsed One Planet community, Sonoma Mountain Village has to meet some pretty strict sustainability targets, like reducing water by 60% and solid waste that we send to landfill by 98% and transportation emissions from all types by 82 percent. But it's really the, the goal of reaching true sustainability instead of just going green that drives all of our decisions so that we can hopefully be a model neighborhood for the future. We now know that we are consuming naturally renewing resources at 40 percent faster than the planet can replenish them. Uh, so we have to use uh, concepts like One Planet Living to inform all the new developments we're doing and it can be applied by individuals, by companies, by developers and also by local governments. From the practical experience that we've been building up here in the UK we've been able to work with developers in continental Europe, in the USA, in China, Australia, South Africa to take the One Planet idea and to really start building developments on a much larger scale.